Hey, good afternoon. I'm Augie with the King's Armory. We're a uh, shooting outfit out of Houston, Texas. We uh, basically provide very affordable training for people here in the Houston area. Uh, we're not affiliated with anybody. Um, we've been uh, we've been given the opportunity with uh, the people here at the Brazos River Sportsman Club to come out and train people and teach people and help keep the community safe. That's kind of what we're about. Um, but today I wanted to talk to you guys about the uh, Cause 21. Um, this was sent to me from with uh, from Tony Ashcraft at Black Rifle Company LLC out of Pearland, and they kind of support us and support what we do. And uh, you know, he put this on me and told me, you know, shoot it, tell me what you think, and then give it an honest uh, an honest review. So uh, that's what I look forward to doing. Which we're going to talk about right now. This is my Cosent Cause 21. Uh, I got this from. Um, Tony Ashcraft over at Black Rifle Company LLC out of Pearland. Um, you know, anybody can read the brochure, right? It's a three and a half inch barrel. It's got a 20 round capacity magazine. Um, it, it is of the 2011 style pistols. Um, and uh, I've really just had a really enjoyed shooting it and getting to use it um, on the range to teach with. And, uh, and and just you know going through it putting uh, so far almost a thousand rounds through it with no real complaints at all um, they do some stipling and texturing here on the grip that I'm kind of comfortable with sometimes it's too aggressive and it digs in um, I've EDC'd it for about the last month and a half and um, it, it has been I've been pleasantly surprised with with everything about this particular firearm. So this one is chambered in a nine millimeter. It's got the uh, bull barrel. Um, just real quick, just so everybody knows, uh, we are safe. Okay, there's no rounds in the magazines. It's got the bull barrel. What I've been really impressed with is the machine. Everything right here, it's it's almost like it's it's artistic. And even to break it loose and see that lock up and see that barrel kind of come through there, that bull barrel. That's beautiful. That that that's craftsmanship at its best. And and I've been a big fan of certain work guns. You know, I like my Glocks because they're great work guns. They're the best hammer in the box for the price, in my opinion. Um, but just this craftsmanship has really impressed me, especially when you just when you see that there, and you see how everything is just book match finished. I mean. That's really impressive, and I've looked at the, at the other guns, you know, the, uh, the Staccato slash STIs, um, the Prodigy doesn't even come close, unfortunately, it just, it just doesn't. Um, when you get into kind of this price point and, and this type of craftsmanship, um, it's a whole nother level, it's a whole nother tier. Uh, I like that they have kind of the Novak cut sights front and back. This one comes with the night sights. Uh, I do have the option to send it back and have it cut for, a, for a, a reflex sight or a red dot of some sort. So I, I can do that later on if I feel like I want to. Um, I'm kind of feeling like I'm gonna get another one. Like I'm gonna get a second one of these and have it set up with, with the lights and all the extra bills and whistles. Because my EDC, I kind of like to keep them as simple and clean as possible. Because um, I don't want any hang ups or anything like that. And if I'm a FUD, you know, I just like to keep it as, as less bulky as possible. And of course, once you add that 20 round magazine to this, um, it, it does gain a little bit of weight. Uh, but I'm okay with it because I'm gonna either gonna have two big ass magazines, which it came with two 20 round mags, or I'm gonna carry extra mags. That, that's just who I am personally. So, so I don't mind that extra weight. Um, I'm just really impressed with the craftsmanship, uh, the forward serrations, the rear serrations, and of course, just watching the way this barrel matches up here with the guide rod, the bull barrel, I mean, it's sexy and I like it. Um, when it comes to triggers, I don't get real crazy with triggers, right? I mean, I don't mind a, a stock Glock trigger. I'll go and practice until I'm better. Um, but with this gun, this price point, it comes with a really impressive trigger. It's not overdone, it's not too light, but it's still crisp, it has like just the smallest reset, right? When when it when it does the thing, I mean that resets right there. Um, uh, you just breathe on it and boom, it's ready to go again. So I've been really impressed by all of those things, and and I've really enjoyed it. Um, we had one or two little issues today on the range, but 
I think that was just the range ammo. We're out here teaching and practicing. So it was kind of the, some of the older range ammo had one or two rounds that just didn't agree with, with whatever was going on with the gun. But other than that, I've put about a thousand rounds through it. And other than those one or two cheap range ammo, ammunition, those two bullets, um, I have nothing, no complaints about it. I just, I've really liked it. Um, it's, it's, you know, it's going to be kind of cool to be part of the, of the 2011 family. So really impressed. Perfect size. I've put it next to my Glock 19. It's about the same size. So, um, as far as a carry gun, uh, in my eyes, this is perfect size, capacity, the whole nine. Some people have these, uh, uh, smaller carry guns like the, uh, the Hellcat. And of course they get out on our range and we put them under a little bit of stress and either the gun or the shooter or a combination of both will fail because the gun is just too small now if you get that gun and that's what you like and you put a couple thousand rounds behind it actually training not just staying static at a range you know shooting bullets at a, at a piece of paper actually training moving and shooting if you do that and you want to carry that gun that's fine by me if that's what you prefer i'm not telling you what to do in my professional uh, uh, opinion as, a, as an instructor and as a shooter this right here this does it so uh, the Cosaint uh, cost 21 uh, I just uh, I can't say I can't say anything negative about it it's a great gun um, 2011s are not for everybody the price points not for everybody there's nothing wrong with carrying a Glock there's nothing wrong with coming to my class with a stock Glock because I can teach you to run that son of a gun like it's nobody's business. But if you're looking at a 2011, that's very impressive. That comes with good magazines. That comes with everything you need. Um, to me, uh, for lack of better words, this, this is the shit.